definitely been a while. I have made a promise to make a video every week, but we'll discuss that further into the video. It's a Tuesday morning. I'm working from home today. I did not go in because our all devs meeting has been cancelled. With that being said, I have to jump into my first meeting and then I'll have breakfast, plan out my day and we'll have a chat. Cheers, stay tuned. the planning is done i'm gonna implementing a, a new api that i will need for the front end just to keep you up to speed right most of my yesterday was spent debugging an api that was not working at all it was not really my job but i had to step in because whoever was doing it is no longer available so most of my day was spent trying to debug finding what really is the problem which took a bunch of hours but yeah at the end you know feel like you're the genius and all so that was done today i'm moving to the front end where I was supposed to be working and I just realized that I need an API. So being a full stack, I'm gonna go back in the back end, start implementing the API, move to the front end, consume the API. And I think mostly I should be able to display some data today based off whatever that I'll be getting. I can't really get into details. So that's what really is happening right now. Back to the back end, create this API, consume, display some data. If I can go a bit further, but that's what's up for the day. I have a, a little more plan for the day, but I'm just gonna base it off those two priority tasks so that I'm able to finish them and actually move on if I can. That's how I usually do my planning. Instead, wish me luck. I'm just gonna dive into it and then we'll talk more. GitHub Copilot, please tell me what your experience like because for me it really does the wonders. Because you just write comments and this thing just write the methods for you and you just refactor, which is pretty awesome. And sometimes it just picks up on your style of coding and it even suggests whatever that you're doing. If you've used it, leave a comment below and tell me what your experience. Like. Let's talk. Why have I not been making videos? So I haven't made a video in three weeks, mainly because I've been caught up in my work, my greatest excuse, right? But that's not the main part that made me not to make videos. I feel like my content has been quite repetitive, day in the life, day in the life, day in the life, going to the office, I'm not in the office, and that, that hence I started to experiment with new content just like the video that I made. If you did not watch it, I released it like three days ago. You can find it in the description. So I wanted to experiment and I'll still be making day in the lives, but I want to experiment more with my content. I just don't like the path that I went into. I think I feel, I fully like devoted myself into like the day in the life, the vlogs and whatnot. And I still uh, share what I want to share, but I think the, um, there's a much better way to do that. So I'm gonna be experimenting with this content. Please tell me the feedback for the last video. I tried doing something new, but it wasn't as good. I even hesitated to like publish it, but I did anyways. Moving forward, I'll be making a few changes in the structures of my videos. Firstly, I'll be answering two to five questions that I found in my previous video. This time I'll be answering two. I was asked if I was a full stack developer. Yes, I am, but my focus has mostly been on back end up until like late last year. No, early last year when I started like going back to TypeScript. I did mention that on the previous video I was talking about. The second question that I got was, what do I think about Devon, the new AI software engineer? I'm going to talk about that in my upcoming video, which should be in like three or four days because I have a, have a holiday on Thursday. So I'll work on that on Thursday, probably be out on Friday. Yeah, I think let me just answer those two. So if you want to ask me any question, you can leave it in the comment. I can answer it on my upcoming video. Taking for 
Ähm I think I once mentioned this before, if you are actually really busy, sometimes you get carried away and you don't remember that you're recording, which is the case that actually happened. I stopped recording around like when I came back to work, it was around half past two, I think. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the day. This was just like a welcome back, hey, I'm still alive. I never seen people so happy to see me. I can, I can see you smile through the screen, but I'll be back, we'll be discussing Devin. This was just... Hey, I'm still alive. So, see you on the next video on the discussing Devin. Don't forget to subscribe if you find this helpful or entertaining. See you on the next one. Cheers.